Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on here in the inventory. Now that I already have uh, the sword and the shield equipped, uh, shield added to the character. When I go here, you can see the, this uh, short sword is already highlighted because the character already have that on the character. And if I go to the shield, this is also highlighted. Similarly, if I change, now you can see this becomes red. So this becomes highlighted and this becomes normal. So that represents the weapon that character already have. Okay. Now if I go back here, this is uh, not highlighted anymore because the character don't have that. So yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. Highlight in the currently add, added weapons uh, on the character in the UI. It's a small thing, I know, but still we need these small things to make it perfect. All right, so let's see how to do that today. Hello everyone. And oh, before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects that I have done from the Patreon page. I leave the link to the project files in the description. And this is a part of this section RPG with gameplay ability system series. So you can watch all these episodes as well in my channel. I'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description. All right, and let's get back to today's tutorial. All right, so at the moment, if I go to the inventory here, when I already have a sword and shield equipped, if I go here, you can see there is no indication that I already have equipped a sword and in fact I can even equip it again here if I press it again you see it uh, the character put it back and equips again so I want to avoid that so I want to make this button disabled if I already have equipped that button and also do some kind of a highlighting to show that this button this weapon is already equipped by the character okay so to do that first let's open the this right hand weapons this is the ui that is responsible for uh, showing those weapons so here these items i show them uh, i use as for these items I use this inventory button here I'll create a custom event toggle selected I'll call this event with the true if this uh, button is already selected or if the weapon represented by this button is already applied i will call this with a false if it is if that is not the case okay now here let's implement this if this is true i'll set the button to disable so set is enabled to false and in the on the other hand if this is not selected is enabled to true and then I'll change this background to some uh, highlighted color this background is actually coming from this border and I can use this brush color yeah so this is not a variable I'll make it a variable Uh, 
and get it. I'll set brush color. If this is already selected, I'll use a bit of a highlight. Maybe something like this should be enough. And if it's not selected, I'll revert it back to white. Okay, now this is all I need in this button and now let's go here and here when we apply uh, when we apply an item I call this on button pressed okay so here I have this weapon index so this is if you don't remember we have this on button pressed is bound to these items on click dispatch so when one of those buttons is clicked this event will be called with the relevant index the, this index should be same uh, for the weapons same for these items that means using this index i can find out which button has been pressed okay so let's do it like this here items and get a copy of selected items and uh, call toggle selected this we need to use this index okay now let's test select some icons items here if I select now you see this weapon has been highlighted and if I select another one that weapon is also highlighted but this is not uh, return to normal see so now let's see how to return them to normal state so here let me promote this to a function and I'll call it change selected item this new selected item right now let's go here and I'll promote this to a variable just selected item okay and call this on the selected item and before that if I already have a selected item I'll call toggle selected with a false so this will be deselected oh, this should be a false Alright, now let's see. Okay. Alright. See, now it changes. And here. It works. So here we have a little problem where this becomes slightly transparent. Let's look into that later. Mm -hmm. okay now I only have the red sword and here this is still selected 
all right now we need a way to determine when I initially go into the menu for example here I have already equipped the sword and shield so when I go to go here this should be already highlighted so to determine that what can we do okay now here using a reference of this collectible class where should we do it yeah maybe here let's add a reference here and also add a dot here reroute node and i'll collapse this to a function uh -huh. To function. Oh, wait a second. Let's just collapse this to a function and is weapon equipped. Uh, not equipped when I call equipped it would mean the weapon is already in the hand not in the back so has weapon all right collectible class and also we need to have a and I'll convert this to a PO function as weapon now let's implement this okay so we have a collectible class and if I get defaults or oh, from this class I can get collectible actor class and if I get defaults of this oh, here we can access the weapon tag right now let's get player character and get ability system component and here we can check has all matching tags so we can check if the character contains this tag so if these tags are present in the character that means this character has the weapon that is represented by this collectible class okay compile now if that is the case here we don't need this let's have a branch this is false we don't need to do anything if the if it is true we need to change selected item yes. and at the beginning just in case we don't have a equipped weapon uh, we don't have a weapon if we have a previous selected item and if it is not there we might need to call this change selected item without any input here but let's first test okay right now if I go here see this uh, normal sword is already selected and if i select the great sword 
it is now selected okay and here if I select this and go back if I go back now see the grid sort is already selected so we can prevent that from happening if I here call change selected weapon with nothing oh wait a second we need to check if this is valid otherwise we might run into problems Okay, cool. Now it should all be good. Right. If I select this and here nothing is selected. If I apply this and go back here nothing is selected because we only have the shield here all right now if i apply this uh, great sword and go back here this is not selected great so that's all i want to do in this episode okay and maybe to prevent that transparency issue what can we do? Oh, uh, well, let's try something like this. Instead of using this, let me forget about that. And here, let's have a custom variable. This selected. If selected. And then mm -hmm. let's not do anything here if selected is true. If this is already selected, we don't need to apply again. Okay, let's test now. yeah it still highlights but nothing happens it's already applied great that's better okay so i think we can stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and maybe next time we should work on um, other items such as helmets so yeah let's look into that and feel free to let me know what you think what you guys think and if you encounter any issues bugs also do let me know in the comments i'll address them as well and yeah see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe goodbye